So in case your Windows 11 computer or laptop is very slow or if it is lagging, what you should do is just follow the steps that you can see on your screen and follow it from the beginning to the end. Now the first thing you need to do is you go to settings, you can search for settings in the search bar, just type settings, then hit enter, then you go to general. So what you can see here is let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. So some of these things will make your PC slow so you can disable everything. Make sure you just turn off everything because we really don't need them. Then make sure everything is turned off. Then after that, the next thing is we'll be going to a task manager. So you can right click on the Windows symbol. On the Windows symbol, you can see on your screen. Uh, once you right click or you can type task manager anyhow you want to do it. Once you type task manager, you hit enter to so take it to the task manager. Then you go to startups or startup. You see some applications that run on startups. And what happens is that when they run on startups, uh, it will make your computer slow when, opera when operating. Something like Cortana, you can see I disabled it because I really don't need Cortana to be enabled. You can see some of these startup impacts are high. So you can look at the ones that are high and disable them like Microsoft, Microsoft OneDrive. If you don't use it, you can go ahead and disable it. And then some of these other ones, the impact is really high. So it might make your computer slow. You can leave Google Chrome or any other browser because um, they are kind of important. Then the next thing, you go to startups, you can search for startups and then you see, you can under apps, under settings, you see apps, then you go to startups, then you disable some of these ones that are not important. As you can see, some of them have high impact also, while some have um, medium impact and some have low impact. So look for the ones that are not necessary. You can see the ones I'm disabling, you can go ahead and disable the same ones on your own computer. But if you feel like there are some other ones you still need to disable that I did not disable, you can go ahead and do that also. So disable some of these apps that might most likely make your system slow. So um, once you're done doing that, we will move to the next step. Okay, so make sure you check everything properly. And this HP notifications, HP status alert, you can go ahead and disable it because you really don't need it to be on. So for those that are into gaming, you can see gaming, you just click on gaming, then go to gaming mode. Make sure this is turned on. Okay, it's very important for those that use their PC for gaming. If you don't use your PC for gaming, you might not really need this step. But if you use your PC for gaming, make sure that is turned on or it's toggled on. For other settings, you can leave them as they are, as they don't really affect anything. So you can leave these ones the way they are. So the next stage is, is a very important one. This next method or this next step is just for general maintenance of your PC to remove maybe files that might be making your system lag or slow. So what you need to do is type control panel. So what you'll be doing is removing applications that we no longer use. So for example, you upgraded your PC from Windows 10 to Windows 11. There might be some applications that you don't use at all again on your computer. Those applications, once they are there, they will be running and consuming some RAM. So you need to just click on it and uninstall it. So look through the applications on these programs and then uninstall it. So after that, the next step is that so you type or you click on Windows, the Windows button on your keyboard, Windows plus R, as Windows R, as Windows run. Okay, once you click on it, you will see a pop-up that will pop up here. Then you, what you type is temp, T-E-M-P. Okay, once you type temp, you will see some files or some folders which will delete. So you click on control A, that's control all. Then it will highlight everything then you click on the delete symbol you can see or you can use shift delete then delete all these these are temporary files that um that are stored on the computer maybe from you browsing the internet or 
something of that sort so you don't really need them don't worry they're not your normal apply, your normal files so the, you repeat the same process you click on windows r and this time you type percentage temp percentage and then you see another um, set of folders which you need to delete also so you can click shift delete and then it will delete all those files please just follow the steps directly follow the steps the way I am doing or what's the exact things you can see me do please follow the exact step there's no need skipping but if you wish to skip fine but I, I think all the steps I, I, I undertake in this video is really important then the next thing you go to your search bar and type disk cleanup so as you can see disk cleanup it brought out this and then you select everything there and then you click on ok ok once you click on OK, it will ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? You click on delete these files. So this might take a while, but it might not take long depending on um, your computer or on how fast your computer is. So we just need to clear those files. Those files are not important. So it clears your recycle bin and clears some other stuff. So the next thing is to type disk defrag. So you go to the search bar and type disk defrag, then you click on optimize when you click on optimize until you see okay under correct status once you see okay it means it's okay then after that is done you, then your computer should be okay but the next step is to check for updates okay the next method is to check for updates check if your computer is up to date okay if it's not up to date you might be experiencing some lagging because what this update does is it fixes bug bugs that have been found on windows 11 pc or on your windows pc so you click on it install all the updates and then once all this is done and then once all this is done you can go ahead to restart your computer so you go to restart and restart your computer and once you do that your computer will be fast to be fine so I hope you found this useful. Please leave a like. It's important to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. If you have any challenges, please go ahead and share the challenges you faced with me. And I'll assist you in the comment section. Thank you.